A Burnt Hills native and Georgia Tech University PhD candidate is hoping to lead his team to victory when it comes to building a more fuel efficient car. It's part of the Eco Car Challenge. 17 college teams in the U.S. and Canada are participating in this competition. Students are now unveiling their final designs at a competition in Toronto, Canada. Ryan Melser joins us now via satellite from Toronto this morning to tell us more about this. Ryan, thanks for talking with us. It's great to be here. Tell us about the competition. Well, the competition invites 17 schools in the U.S. and Canada to kind of follow the same process that automakers do to, to build a better vehicle. So it's a three-year competition. We start the first year off designing a vehicle with, with very rigorous models and simulations trying to predict across the board what our vehicle will do. At the end of the first year, we actually get that vehicle, and then we have to do what we said we would. In the second and third years, we actually test the vehicle on the proving grounds that the real uh, vehicles are tested on. Now you're all starting with a 2009 GM Saturn View, is that right? That's correct. And what challenges are you facing in your attempts to do this? Well, the same ones that the automakers find. Uh, you can't really cheat in anything. So we're judged on the mileage, but at the same time, the greenhouse gas emissions, the petroleum consumption, and the performance and kind of all the perks that cars have. So you can't just kind of build one area up and forget the others. Now, Ryan, you have quite a background. You've already achieved your bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Penn State. You already have your master's in mechanical engineering from Georgia Tech, and you're currently pursuing your doctorate. What's involved when you're dealing with this uh, state-of-the-art technology? Well, it's just that, that it's state-of-the-art, so it's kind of cutting edge. We work with some of the same tools that the automakers do, so things that aren't really on the market. But it's very powerful and really lets us get a good idea of what the vehicle will do before we actually build anything. Now, to make it to the finals, uh, when will you find out how well you've done and, and what's involved in the judging? Well, this Friday we'll find out how we do for the first year, but at the end of the second and third year we're also graded. Oh, that's interesting. What are you hoping to do with all of this in the end? Well, we really hope to make a vehicle that is a showroom quality that doesn't lack in any area. So we're trying to cover all our bases and really have something that uh, people on our team and other people seeing the car would want to buy. Personally, what do you get out of this, especially since you're leading this team? A little pressure? A little pressure. Uh, I really find it very empowering. You kind of go through school, you get all these tools, you kind of drive down the street and you say, well, why don't do that? they do this on a car? I would do this if I had the job. And now you kind of got to really back up what you would say. So you really have to uh, not forget about any part of the car to really put things together. And at the end, there's, there's no talking. There's actually hard numbers measuring how well you did for the whole year. Well, Ryan Melser, we're very proud of you back here at home. Again, you're from Burnt Hills. Good luck. We'll be following you in this competition. Good luck to you and your team. Thank you. If you would like more information about the Eco Car Challenge, just head to our website, CapitalNews9.com, and we'll have a link to the competition's website.